Hi, today we're going to talk about how to clean your commercial or industrial sewing machine. To avoid visits from your mechanic, especially expensive ones to your workroom, you need to keep your machine clean. Now it doesn't need to be a big task, all you need to do is allow five minutes every Friday is what I do, so when I'm back at work on a Monday morning, I'm all ready to go. There's only a couple of little tools you need. You need the screwdriver that comes with your machine. It's also quite handy to have a piece of spare fabric, six to eight inches, 15 to 20 centimeters, and also a small paintbrush. Now the paintbrush obviously needs to be a clean paintbrush and just between one and five centimeters, which is half an inch to two inches in width. The first thing we're going to think about is safety. So you need to ensure your machine is switched off and unplugged from the wall. Keeping our machine clean is very important to ensure we don't need to call our mechanic out all the time. Dust is a bit of a killer with machines like this, so set aside one time every week to clean your machine. So we're going to start at the top of the machine and give it a general dust down. Get rid of the fluff from all the areas that might be dust catches and work our way down to the presser foot. Make sure you clean around the fly wheel area, which is also called the balance wheel. Older machines don't have covers. They have a tendency to catch dust and lint. Clean around the bobbin area. And anywhere your brush will reach. We're going to lift the cover and just dust through here everywhere your brush will reach. We're going to lift the presser foot so we can get into the bobbin area. Now using our screwdriver that comes with your machine we need to take the face plate off by screwing anti-clockwise. Put these screws somewhere safe. It's very easy to flick them with your paintbrush. And probably lose them on the mess that's your workroom floor. We simply pop up the cover plate and using the brush we'll dust through the area here. And then replace the cover plate. You need to make sure the screws are tight but not over tightened. If you're like me and you tend to use a woven binder attachment quite a lot, it's important that you can get into this area easily. I tend to start this off with my fingers and then finish it off with the screwdriver. If you have a magnetic screwdriver it does make life a lot easier. Now with the presser foot cover firmly in place we'll just simply slide this back. Now the machine sits in a bed of oil so we need to ensure the underside of the machine is clean too. So you need to tilt your machine up. Be careful it is very heavy and we're going to clean the underside area. We're going to be cleaning the underside of the machine area. If your bobbin case is in the machine just take it out. Put it somewhere you're not going to lose it and clean in around here.
Now with your scrap piece of fabric, take out the old one, clean the lint catcher area and replace it with a new piece of fabric. While you're on the job, just double check that your oil level is okay. My oil level here is between the maximum and minimum. I'm quite happy with that and the oil hasn't caught too much dust so I'm happy with that too. Gently lift your machine back. Be careful, it's heavy. 